Hi guys, so you've always seen me sit here and speak to you about everything MBA. But now, I'm trying to experiment with something new. I'm trying to show you something new. This is my first vlog. So, the reason why I'm creating this vlog is this, that you know exactly what is the everyday of any normal MBA who goes out for a job. However, you might not know that what is the everyday of an MBA who starts off his or her entrepreneurship and how is it that he or she spends his or her day. So that's what my objective is and in the next few vlogs, I will be sharing with you a lot about my daily routine. And one more thing that as of now, I am on my way to the airport as I am flying out somewhere this morning. But you will be able to see that where am I exactly heading towards by the end of the video. So let's go on to the airport. We're going to Road J for our Emirates flight, and I hope the counter is empty. So guys, I've just cleared the emigration and I'm heading towards security, excited for the trip and we'll share with you a few uh, few things about what I do and what I would uh, advise you on this, that how you can find your outcomes from your MBA without being entirely hopeful on your on-campus placements. So I would be hitting uh, the lounge and there I would speak to you about it. Hi guys, so I finally cleared the security check and the emigration as well. I am in the duty free at uh, Delhi airport. Now, I will be going to the lounge and what I would want to talk to you today is that what exactly is my life all about after MBA from IIM Udaipur and how exactly can you build something for yourself beyond your placements, be it uh, self-employment or be it entrepreneurship and I'll be sharing with you three things three things that how a life like this is uh, fairly uh, unique and what are the uh, unique things about this which I do so this is going to be exciting so one of the things just out of the fun is that uh, when you are becoming an entrepreneur your obvious aspiration is to earn a lot while obviously to help others but to also earn a lot so that you can afford all of these things which are right there which uh, in the initial years like i am right now you might not be able to i might not be able to but then that's what the objective is that how you can uh, you know you can earn enough to invest to save and as well as to splurge money over here which is not a wise thing to do but yeah so the first thing which you need to know about a journey of yours in which you are either self-employed or you are a, you know or you are an uh, entrepreneur the first thing is that there is no 
delineation of what is work and what is your life because when you're starting off with your own thing in the initial years you have to work really hard to set all of those things and which means that even when you are at the airport you always need to have your work with you so hence what you will observe now is that while i will be on my trip i would be working around the clock and that is the first thing which you really need to know that even when i am outside even when i am on a vacation i am always on the go i am always working search for where is the lounge so that i can go to the lounge and uh, sit there and then i'll tell you about the second point that what is it to be an entrepreneur after your mba what is it to be self employed and not go the job route so when you are an entrepreneur one more thing which you need to be very careful about is punctuality at times you can get slightly laid back and uh, punctuality is very important so what happened was that when i was planning this trip of mine i had applied for a diner card from uh, hfc and what happened is that uh, probably i was slightly late in applying and something happened at hfc's uh, end as well and uh, because of that i was not able to have the card uh, with me as of right now so the problem with that is that now i cannot access uh, the premium uh, lounge which i was expecting to access but i really wish i had that card had i applied some uh, two days back or some i mean uh, 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 two days in advance then probably i would have had it by now so punctuality is very important that's just that's just another thing which you should know but anyway so my objective right now is to share with you a lot more things about that what exactly i do and the first thing which i shared is that if you are an entrepreneur if you are a freelancer after your mba then most likely you will not experience any change from your work and from your life your work and your life is going to be the same at least for the initial years and for that wo hota isliye hai kyunki in the starting years you have to work very hard wherever you go you have to work and you have to earn money so that you can keep fueling your uh, startup you can keep fueling your uh, entrepreneurship so here we have the food which i have ordered because still there are two hours to the flight so what i was speaking to you about is that what are the things which are important for you to know if you're planning to choose something which is not your on uh, sorry which is not your on campus uh, placements so what you also have to know is that your vacations will now always be vacations vacation naam ki cheez holiday naam ki cheez koi nahi hoti hai you are always on the go you are always working now the good thing about is that is that whenever you are on a vacation you are always working and uh, hence you know everywhere you go you are always carrying your laptop with you you are always working on it so what exactly happens is that holi eid diwali ye sab jo hota hai iski holidays will not excite you a lot because you will always be working even on those days so that you can save enough and take one grand vacation or as i said one grand vacation for yourself and that is exactly what i am about to go for so uh, up till now i told you about the two things the two things which are very important for you to know when you are choosing your journey to become an entrepreneur or somebody who's self employed after your mba the third thing the third change which you'll observe is that your life goals and your work goals will eventually be just one simple thing so what happens is that when you are working for someone else then 
your work objectives are aligned with what are the objectives of that organization whereas your own personal goals might be something else entirely now when you are working on something which you created for yourself for example i work on my own thing then my objective from my work is the same as what the objective for me from my life is my objective is to help you guys help the students get the best outcomes from their careers and which is exactly what my work is which is exactly what my clients are about which is also exactly what my entire blog is about so hence that is the third thing which you need to know okay that everything would align everything would start to converge and make a lot of sense so with that i'll just head on to the gate where i have to board my flight so behind me what you can see is the gate number 1 and the boarding has begun i'm just about to go to the flight and i'm very excited about this trip because i've been to this place earlier as well some 2 uh, years back and now i am going in only to relax and to work and so that i can enjoy all the hard work which i have been able to do in the last few uh, years after my mba and you know that is what the real thing is that how you can strategically plan save up and then spend and then you have the freedom to spend a few weeks wherever you want to so i think that is what excites me the most about becoming an entrepreneur about being self employed and now i'll just head on to the boarding gate so guys the boarding for my flight has begun I'm just about to board that is my plane I'll not be able to see the fin from here i'm too lazy to get up and show you but from that you'll know where i'm going where i'm heading to so just a few more minutes and then let's get on to the plane Finally, I've uh, boarded the flight. It's mandatory to wear the mask inside this. I plan to complete some of my client work while I'm on this flight. It's a four and a half hour flight, so it's a great time for me to finish off a lot of my work. And uh, you know, instead of it being a problem for me, this is the most exciting part of it. In fact, that how I can find the required slots for me to uh, complete my work. And this is going to be one such slot where I'm going to be. supremely uh, productive and will complete a lot of my client work hopefully so you guessed it right i am in dubai right now and i'll be here for the next few weeks uh we'll be working out of here and we'll be uh, focusing on a, a lot of projects which i have to do for for my uh, venture also probably will establish new uh, clientele over here so that's the objective and yeah having a lots of fun so let me take you through the airport थोड़ा सा सीन हो गया है आई हैड परचेज द माइक बैक होम 
and somehow that mic has stopped working so not a very good quality mic would be using uh, would be purchasing another one here in dubai and here we are